In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Sigma Excel to create a correlation matrix. The correlation matrix supplements the scatter plot matrix by quantifying the degree of association. Now, if you see this table here, it shows the approximate relationships between R, R squared, and the, the degree of association. Now, you can see here if the Pearson correlation coefficient is less than or equal to 1, but equal to or greater than 0 0.9, you have a strong degree of association. If it's less than 0 0.9, but equal to or greater than 0 0.7, you have a moderate degree of association. And lastly, if it's less than 0 0.7, you have a weak degree of association. Now for this example, open up Sigma Excel. And for this example, we're using the customer data data set, which is included in your sample data folder in the Sigma Excel installation directory. Now once you have your data set open, click on Statistical Tools and click on Correlation Matrix. Use the entire data set. Now for this example, the factors that we're going to select is everything from average number of orders per month to staff knowledge. So if you shift click on staff knowledge and click numeric data variables, it will select all of the uh, factors that you need here. And you can click OK. Now you'll see the resulting correlation matrix is shown. Uh, now correlations highlighted in red are considered significant. Uh, for example, you can see here that um, it's indicated that overall satisfaction is moderately associated with both responsive to calls and ease of communications. Now the corresponding p-values are just below. Now if the p-values are uh, less than 0 0.05, they're highlighted in red. So we can see here and here that uh, the moderate association indicated above is significant. And note that Spearman's rank correlation complements Pearson's correlation in that it provides a robust measure of association. Spearman's rank is based on correlated ranks, which are not sensitive to outliers.